It had no ano, plane going to Manila. Nag-bark siya, from Batanas to Manila. Yeah, cargo vessel. Ah, cargo vessel. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, so you know the drill. 30 Is this on? Per, yeah, 30 seconds per question or statement. Mm -hmm. So in 30 seconds, tell us something about yourself. Okay. Hi everyone, I'm Jan Alexis Alcano. I am an Ivatan, an indigenous person, and I am a painter and a freelance makeup artist as well. So I'm very much into the visual arts. And the thing about it is that I can trigger people's emotions just by targeting their sense of sight. And I think that's very cool. <laughs> um, what is one beautiful word in Ivatan? Um, magsal or ichagsal, that means you are proud of who you are and of where you come from. So, me, ichagsal ku, kaivatan ku, I am proud of being an ivatan. Um, what is that one learning experience that you had as a child that made so much impact on you? Sorry, one? One learning experience learning that you experience. had as a child that made so much impact I think as a child, because I'm the eldest um, child in the family, and I had to learn to be responsible at an early age. So that is my learning experience. My whole childhood, I was taught to be responsible at an early age, to be independent, and to know how to take care of my own self. And then, uh, what is that uh, one major lesson that you learned from your experience during the pandemic? One major lesson would be that anything can happen. So we have to expect the unexpected all the time. And so we must live in the moment, be who we are and where we are and enjoy that. Um, maximize everything that we have right now and just learn to enjoy life as it is. If you win the crown, how will you help your community? Okay, so if I win the crown as an indigenous person and coming from a humble background, I know what it's like to be deprived of opportunities. And being where I stand right now, it took a lot of courage, rejections, and struggles. So if I win Miss Universe Philippines, I would use this perfect platform to be able to help create more opportunities to raise projects for my fellow indigenous people so that no one else would have to struggle for an opportunity anymore. What color do you think symbolizes the phenomenal woman? The phenomenal woman. I think that would be blue because it's vibrant it it's strong color but it also looks calm at the same time so the, i think that's what a phenomenal sh phenomenal woman should be you should stay composed you should be calm all the time but you are strong and powerful you know batanes is one place that i've been wanting to go but yeah. never had the chance mm -hmm. so if we Yes. <laughs> uh, in Batanes you'd like to promote in the world to know. Okay. So um, every corner you turn in Bat Batanes is scenic. And I'm not saying this because I come from there, but it's true. But my favorite spot would be Marlboro Country or in locally we call it Raku Apayaman, which means um, wide pasture and the thing is it really is wide and you can see the Pacific Ocean you can see the beautiful Mount Iraya um, the hills rolling hills and also the cows and carbos grazing the grass I think it's yeah it's that beautiful yeah yeah I can envision it from what you can see Yes. So, ano naman, um, on the other side naman, no, in the real world now, no, so, in the new norm, it's uh, work from home. Yes. So, what do you think are the skills that we need um, to be able to, you know, adapt to this new norm, to this new workplace of the future? So, ano yung mga new skills na, ano yung skills na ito? Uh, definitely, we have to learn how to be flexible with our skills. Um, Time management, definitely, and how to juggle between your personal life and your work. So we have to learn how to set our focus 
because there's going to be a lot of distractions because we're in, in a new setting, a new environment. So you have to learn how to set your focus on a specific goal that you want to achieve. There's a campaign to hashtag love local. Mm -hmm. So what local product could you promote and why? Okay, so while I was in Batanas, I recently did a shoot for a turmeric tea. So I think that's what I want to promote. Because uh, nowadays, um, with the virus going around and still in our country, it's still prominent. So I think I'd like to promote that, the turmeric tea, because it has benefit, good benefits for the body, as well as um, boosting our immune system, which is very essential nowadays. And lastly, you mentioned focus earlier. What is that one thing you think that young people should focus on? One thing that young people should focus on, that would be their purpose. Because right now, we all need to focus on our purpose. We all need to unite to make this world a better place because we really need um, the cooperation, the unity. We don't need the indifference, the hate. We have to disregard all our differences to be able to unite. That's all. Thank you. I'd like to, you to tell your story lang of how you came to Manila. Can okay. you say that like, in a few lines? Lang, how a few the lines. The struggle of traveling to Manila. and um, This is not part of the question. So mm -hmm. yeah. for the, okay. I can see your story. Okay. So, um, I was all set and booked for a flight on the October 7th. But a few days prior to my flight, um, there was a confirmed or recorded case, first ever recorded case of COVID in Batanes. So with that, the next day, the government decided to impose new guidelines for the province, and that included um, banning all commercial flights. So that means my flight was canceled, and I was actually fretting <laughs> because there's no other way out of the province than air transportation. So we immediately, um, I contacted, I personally reached out to Sir Jonas so that I could have a letter sent to our governor and to the Coast Guard because we need their permission for me to be able to board a cargo vessel because it's not really allowed for a passenger to board a cargo vessel for security and safety purposes. But this, that's the only choice that I had and it was a risk that I was willing to take I was actually scared of deep waters, but I had to disregard all the fears just so I can get here to where I am right now, standing in front of all of you. Why is it important for you to come here? Because this serves a great purpose for me, being here, a contender of Miss Universe Philippines and representing Batanes. We rarely get to represent Batanes in a pageant, national pageant scene. And I would like to promote not just Batanes as a place, but the Ivatans. I want to embody that resilience that we speak of. And I want to prove to people that we really are who we claim to be, resilient people. I thank my um, fellow Ivatans. They're the ones who inspire me. I draw my strength from them, and they're the ones who encourage me to keep on fighting through this journey. Basically, I just want to make my province proud. I hope they will be with my performance in the Q&A.